So I took lot of pictures of Comet 3A Atlas and I took lot of data. So when I'm processing all this, I kept thinking, why is this object, interstellar object, traveling, let's say billions or millions of years, without any message to us, right? Whether it's technological or not, it's waste of its time carrying nothing and traveling all this way. If it is truly technological, definitely it may be carrying a message. Even if it is not, it may have some hidden message there if it is a billions of years old relic. If it is technological, we it should have called our cell phones or called our radios and it would have given us the modern way of sending some kind of a signal so that we will get to know that this is in fact something that is somebody made this. If it is truly an ancient relic, how would it tell us? What would it tell us? So I kept looking at some old fashioned way of looking at things. Like if it is ancient relic, is it carrying like a pattern or like a flower or a leaf or a tree? And I know in all my videos, I kept thinking that this is spinning. Has the spinning has anything to do with the message? And I was thinking about the spin itself. So why not this ancient relic may be carrying something? And we are looking at this comet from a distance. It's not coming towards the humans, it's not coming towards the Earth. It's going to Sun, then going to Mars, then Jupiter. Actually, it came from Neptune. So from our viewpoint, if I look at the orbit itself, does it have anything to do with it? So I calculated some of that. I'm going to share the data with you. It's pretty fascinating what I looked at it. I started looking at the rotation, the the spin, and I was trying to figure out if there is a message. I don't think there may not be any message. That's how maybe the universe works. It may not be carrying anything at all. Or somebody is going to figure it out based on the data we captured so far. They can tell us, actually talking about someone doing it, like one of the subscribers, Adam, he sent me a video, MP4 file, on uh, sending in my email. Thank you very much for sending me that MP4 file. I'm going to share here with you. So guys, if it is turbulent with wind, you see that? It's definitely spinning, but almost like moving with the wind kind of thing, right? Now, here is what I did. I zoomed in further and you guys tell me what you think. As it gets closer, as I see almost like there is no more the zoom kind of level. I feel like not only it is spinning, but also there is a definition of those jets to it, right? That's what I'm seeing. I know I have seen these spinning jets before in all the previous videos. But what I'm seeing now is there is a structure to it. It's like doing like this. There, there could be something there that's not just doing the propulsion or the activity, but there, there is an extra material on this comet is making that spin. I wasn't satisfied with this one. Uh, like, this is great, uh, fantastic. 
So I went and I did like one time sharpening as well. I wanted to. It's a great file. It's beautiful. He did a fantastic job. Adam, thank you. I'm going to post a video with my email address to all my members. If you are in the top tier, I will also respond to your messages. There are several of them. I usually try to read every comment and I try to respond as much as possible. And uh, please click on the subscribe button and the notifications button. So if you give me a thumbs up, you will get that notification when I post the new video on 3 Atlas or any other astronomy video. Anyway, I'll show you all the data that I collected. I'll try to take one minute and explain the sequence that is emerges in everything in the universe, right? So whether you look at the galaxies or look at the flowers, this is there everywhere. It's basically a foundational sequence where you look at the first number and the second number, you get the third number. So zero plus one equal to one, and one plus one equal to two, two plus three equal to five, three plus five is eight. It goes on and on. So when you put that and frame that in a spiral, it actually keeps moving. It's almost, they resemble this to the creation. So the thought process that I had was, if it is spinning, if the three atlas, is this carrying a message to us uh, based, on, based on the sequence, right? Uh, they call it golden ratio, they call it Fibonacci sequence, they call it golden triangle, they call it golden spiral. There are several names to it. But anyway, let me show you the pictures I got. So this is the data that we collected yesterday. And I showed you this comet. And it pretty much looks like a comet unless you zoom in. So this is the data. Once you zoom into the file, this is what we were watching. So this is the comet and doubts that I got was when I was looking at that spin. I was wondering, and even, let me slow this down a little bit. It's going way too fast. Right, you see that spin? That's a spin I was looking at, which I started thinking, like, does it mean something, right? That's a spin I was looking at. It's just a regular comet. If you just watch this from from a distance, it doesn't even say anything, right? It looks like a regular comet. But as you get closer and closer to the comet, you actually will start seeing the message, right? I don't know if this is a message, right? I was thinking that this spinning has to do with something. So let me show you what I did. So we got one of these pictures, right? And this is what we were looking at. This is the picture, right? So when you are zooming in and looking at this picture, this is the regular picture, right? The one that the one that you are looking at, which is one of the pictures in the time lapse. So if I go ahead and invert this picture, right, it is going to show me what's inside. Let me zoom out a little bit, right? We don't care about the stars there, but it is going to show me that structure, right? So it shows slightly better structure than what it is. So that's what I'm, I did for all the pictures. So these are the ones that we, almost like a negative print of the original file. Let's take a look at them. So these are the same files we are looking at, but now,
I'm not sure what message buried in the spin. The spin itself is beautiful. I hope you all can see it very well. Sometimes the jets are more prominent and sometimes they are not. I hope it is carrying a message when it is trying to spin like that. So Anyway, please click on the subscribe button and notifications button. Uh, so when I post these new videos, you will get a message on the Comet 3A or any other astronomy videos. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching.